Hey tech lovers! Ever set up your security cameras, feel super secure, only to get that dreaded storage full notification a week later? Yeah, we've all been there. Figuring out exactly how much storage you need can feel like rocket science, and picking the wrong hard drive is a recipe for disaster. So today, we're cutting through the confusion. In this video, you know how to calculate your storage needs and choose the perfect hard drive that won't let you down. So let's dive in. Hey, want to quickly master network basics, camera settings, or even build your own security system? This course is specially designed for absolute beginners. From LAN selection to network configuration, we'll guide you through every step. And each lesson is simple and easy to understand, with hands-on demonstration to help you get started effortlessly. So click the link to our course video now and start your learning journey. So let's forget complex formulas for a second. Calculating storage boils down to just three main things. One, how many cameras and for how long? Seems obvious, right? But be specific. How many cameras are you actually recording from? And crucially, how many days of footage do you want to keep before it gets overwritten? 7 days, 30, or 90? This is your retention period. More cameras plus longer retention equals way more storage. 2. Resolutions versus Frame Rate The Balancing Act This is where most people get tripped up Resolution like 4K, 1080p, and 720p are your image clarity and detail. Higher resolution like 4K captures way more detail, crucial for identifying faces or license plates. But it also eats up significantly more storage space per second. So FPS frame per second is how smooth the video looks. 30 FPS is super smooth, like a movie. But here's the critical tip. For most surveillance, we don't recommend 25 or 30 FPS. Why? Security footage often has a lot of redundancy. Think long stretches of an empty hallway or parking lot. Capturing 25 or 30 nearly identical frames every second is massively inefficient. You're storing huge amounts of data that adds almost no useful information. So resolution is far more important for evidence than super high frame rates. For the vast majority of surveillance needs, 12 to 15 FPS is more than sufficient. It captures movement clearly while slashing your storage needs dramatically compared to 25 to 30 FPS. So always prioritize resolution first. And third, day versus night. It matters more than you think. Here's a hidden factor. Nighttime footage usually consumes more storage than daytime footage. Why? Low lights introduces visual noise, that grainy, speckled look. Noise is random and complex. And compression algorithms, which make video files smaller, struggle much more with random noise than with clean, consistent daytime images. So think of it like trying to zip a file full of random numbers versus a file full of repeating patterns. The random ones, the night noise, just doesn't compress as well. So if you record 24-7, you should expect your nighttime hours to use noticeably more storage per hour than your daytime hours. All right, so how do you actually calculate this without a PhD? Thankfully, it's easy. Just head to your favorite search engine and type in Surveillance Hard Drive Calculator or IP Camera Storage Calculator. These tools are fantastic. You simply plug in numbers of cameras, camera resolution, 4K 1080p, your frame rate, Remember, use 12 to 15 FPS. Video compression, usually H.264 or 265. Estimated recording hours per day, 24-7 or motion only. 
and your desired retention period, like how many days. Hit calculate, and boom! It gives you a total storage requirement, let's say 1 TB for your setup, but this is a rough estimate. Real world factors like the amount of motion, busy street or quiet backyard, the complexity of the scene, are there lots of trees moving, and especially that nighttime compression issue mean your actual usage might be 10 to 20% higher, so you should always add a buffer. If the calculator says 1 TB, aim for 2. So now you know how much storage you need, can you just grab any desktop hard drive? Absolutely not. Standard desktop drives are designed for light intermittent use, saving documents and loading games occasionally. So they aren't built for relentless 24-7 surveillance. You need a drive built specifically for surveillance or network video recorder like this one right here because they're designed with components rated to run constantly, day and night, year after year, without overheating or wearing out prematurely. So using a desktop in your NVR is like putting regular car tires on a dump truck. They may work for a bit, but they will fail catastrophically, taking your critical footage with them. So invest in the right tool for the job. Now by following all these steps, and you have rock solid storage that lasts and giving you real peace of mind. No more storage full surprises. And if you get any questions or your own storage tips, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Now thank you very much for watching, stay secure, and I'll see you in our next one.